We're just gonna poke around a little bit. Don't mind us. Just gonna. Whoa! What was that? The hell was that? Bless you. What the? What was that? You were still curious. Oh, gotta be squirrel and shoe bill. Right. Well, yeah, that would be great if I could build my own deck. Yeah. Game. <laughs> you just get a starter deck. You can still build your own deck. Yes. All right, grab a card. Oh, I'm different this time. Yeah, your character's a little different. Your little, your little model. Fish, so, cobra, mm. anything. Hey, there's anything in here. Hey, it's me. Anything. All right. Oh, the little. I didn't realize that you're. Oh, are these all the times you've. Are these all the times you've played? Are these like all of your little. They might be. I, I thought they were always for future victims, but maybe oh. those are previous victims. Well, because, like, this time I'm wearing a little wizard hat. That's true. Your character is definitely new and different. Alright, so I can upgrade something. Or sacrifice. Imbue something. I can sacrifice something to imbue it with... You can make anything stinky. You can make bullfrog stinky. Or you can grab a totem. We'll get a totem. Totem time! That's uh, me and the wood cape carver, whatever. Uh, would you like unkillable squirrels or flying squirrels or the bug head? Oh my god, this sounds like a pretty bad thing to be honest. Unkillable squirrels? Well, it means my hand my my hand is constantly going to be filled with cards. Is that a bad thing? I'm constantly going to have squirrels in my hand. Oh no, what a terrible thing to have. <sighs> Actually, I don't know. <laughs> now that I'm thinking about it, that means I could just sack a squirrel and then play the squirrel and then sack the squirrel and then play the squirrel and then sack the squirrel and then play the squirrel. Well, I guess when you put it like that, it sounds like it might have some utility. We're gonna see how this works. All right, first battle again. Here we are, back in the Wolf set. Wolf cub. All right. So here's what we do. Squirrel. Squirrel. Mm -hmm. Sack squirrel. Squirrel goes back in my hand. Now you've got anything on the field. Play anything. <laughs> Play squirrel. Hello again, squirrel. Um, I'm not. I'm not gonna use my, this item on the. Oh, you just get the hook again. You get the hook every time now. Huh. All right. I was gonna grab the squirrel, but I'm not gonna use the squirrel. And the first battle? On, on my first battle, yeah. And turn. Three points of damage. Bump, bump, bump. And then anything takes a point. Kill the wolf. Da, da, da. And we're done with the first battle. All right, I need a shoe bill. Give me uh, we a got snail. The snail. Well, I needed the snail two games ago. Yeah. Where were you two games ago, snail? I was there. You passed me by, remember? Which of these cards would you take? Snail, I guess. We'll take the snail. He blocks the first attack on him. Ah. We're going to give you more items, but you were full. Here, have a... Oh! The pack rat card. Ah, the pack rat's always useful. He is, I don't sure. want the pack rat card either. Yes. It's always a problem having too many items. I, I, this game is a lot of fun. I really like this game. I hate not being able to pick my own deck. That's part of the challenge, though. If you could I, make your own deck. I want my own deck. If you could make your own deck, you'd instantly beat this guy. I want my own deck. I Even if my own deck is only five cards. It is, yes. But then you sometimes get cards you don't want mixed in, and that's what makes it a challenge. Grab a card from here. Please be Shoe Bill. Give me Shoe Bill. Dang. Reginald, we'll take Didn't you. even look at what the other cards were. Okay. Probably should have. <laughs> Who do you want to sacrifice? Well, the pack rat's got a good ability. So does the magpie. Yeah. But they're both two blood costs, which is kind of pricey. That's what I'm thinking. I'm trying to decide, do I want to put the search for a card and flying on something? Or do I want to put item on something? Who would you put it on? Pack rat goes on... I could put it on wolf. You could put the pack rat's ability on the wolf. Or I could put it on him. Or on the stoat, make him a little more useful. Yeah, we'll put it on stoat. All right, stoat, congratulations. You're getting upgraded. <laughs> Another sigil, hooray. <laughs> Don't be so better. So sassy. Sassy stoat. All right, Prospector, we're back. All right, hello, Prospector. Look, it's me. Hey, Prospector, I'll tell you what. I will um, I will let you win if you guarantee me that I'll get... Oh, no, it doesn't matter if I get a shoe belt. Never mind. Who do I want? Who's going to be able to kill the pack mule very quickly? I guess the wolf? I can see one character who can kill the pack mule very quickly. Oh, yeah, Reginald. <laughs> the insta-kill. And I have enough cards. Or bones. I have enough bones, yes. so we'll just play Reginald instantly. Murder that mule. Go. That'll give me free cards. 
My mule, curse you! Uh, we finally got the jackal pup, but it's a little too late for that now. Yep. The stork. When you play the stork, you get a rabbit. <laughs> mm. All right. So rabbit is like squirrel. Yes, essentially, yes. Also, anything I put out there is going to die at the end of this turn. Probably. Kill the mole, kill the coyote, do a point of damage, and first wave down. There's golden in them cards. I'm going to do that thing again. Yahoo! I'm doing the thing. You'd think I'd be able to retire with all the gold I keep finding, but apparently not. I just love the, the, the trade. It's part of my, my existence. Part of my identity is just I love gold. Anything's on the board. Anything's better than nothing. <laughs> and turn. Damage the bloodhound. Snail on the board. Yeah, we'll put snail here because snail will absorb the first damage. Yeah. And then kill him. Mm hmm. I'm gonna run out of cards soon. One, two, three. Nope. No, you won't. Oh, okay. Never mind. Because you beat the boss. Boom. And a rare card. Sorry, none of them are shoe bills. Shoe bills are rare. Ouroboros or. Damn it! I need a shoe bill! Basilisk. I'll take Basilisk. Okay. Well, wait, what? Why does he do two damage if he has Death Touch? <laughs> if he's doing direct damage to the to uh, Leshy, then he does two damage instead of one. Oh, yeah, all right. So you're looking for a shoe bill, and definitely keep an eye out for the shoe bill. But that might not be the solution. There could be other options. Was it? What is he Candle saying? moved. C Candle moved, did it? It moved. It was down here. Now it's this one. Now it's there. It was this one that was lit before. Uh -huh. Now it's this one. Oh, hey, the ring's there. Uh, why did the candle move to this one? Now it's there. And now it's out. Oh! I do relish snuffing out your excess candles before a boss. Perhaps you will enjoy it now as much as I do. Now I have the smoke, just in my hand. Yes. All right, we've got that card now, whatever it does. Not sure. No, oh, the artery! Thanks. Great. <laughs> Stop touching me. Stop touching me. Stop touching no, me. No, you're I'm gonna keep touching you until you do something else. Oh my god, stop touching me. Oh my god, he keeps on touching you. That's kind of weird. Do you ever hear about that Yu-Gi-Oh tournament where these two guys brought like a 1,000 card deck to prove that that they needed to put deck limits in Yu-Gi-Oh? I wasn't aware of that. Oh yeah. It, it, there's an image online of them carrying it, and it's literally like they made the 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 the, the case for the deck. <laughs> like they custom made it, but it, it's like two people carrying it. <laughs> Two people, both of them wearing fedoras, looking like they're dressed for a funeral, carrying this fucking deck into a game. I wasn't aware of that. Yeah. That's pretty funny. It's ridiculous. Did they implement turn like deck limits after that? I think that? they implemented deck limits after <laughs> that. They were like, okay, yeah, we, we kind of have to do this, don't we? I guess. If we don't, these weird nerds are going to keep on doing weird stunts like this, I guess. Common sense isn't common anymore. I mean, maybe if the opponent was trying to run one of those... Decks that burn through your hands. Oh, a milling deck? Yeah. yeah. A milling deck? Is that what they're called? Milling, yeah. Oh, milling, yeah, okay. Boom. One, two, three. He's like, oh, I got a bullfrog. And it's like, that's cool. That's cool. You're special, aren't you? Here you go. Nice bullfrog. There you go. I got a squirrel right here. I'm not going to do anything about that. There you go. Three points of damage. We're done. Bop, bop, bop. Two. Yay. I feel like I just have way too many cards right now. You do have. Well, look, look at all these. Go look how many I have. And th there's. You've got 11 cards. It's it's not a lot. Look, I don't want any of them. They're, they're pretty awful, yeah. They're pretty awful. Such a bad setup. Is there a way I can just start a, start a whole new... Just give up? You know, just... Can I just like give up and start a whole new game? Um, I would say there is. You get to the boss and then you just hit, hit the bell until you're done. Can I just leave if I click the door enough times? No, you cannot. Duplicates. You got duplicates? What do you got? Nothing. Okay, fine. You can take one of ours. Give me a shoe bill. Give me a shoe bill. You already have a shoe bill? No, give okay. Me... Oh, that's right. They won't give me a shoe bill. Uh, fine. Take a basilisk. That's pretty so cool. He does even more damage. When I when eventually I find them again, he does even more damage. He's gonna be a tanky basilisk. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna play this round. From from this point onwards in the in uh this run through, I'm gonna play incredibly stupidly. Oh, all right. That might be a way. I don't know what that would accomplish, but we'll uh, see. If well, it's... it's not incredibly stupidly. I'm just literally going to do the first thing that comes into my mind. All right. Don't overthink things. I like it. I mean, you've got two candles, so if you screw up, no big deal. Whatever. Yeah, well, once I get to the boss, then it's going to be a problem. We'll go this one. All right. Pick a blood cost, eh? One, two, or bones. One. One, Warren. Dang. Damn. Sacrificial altar. 
All right, what him. are we sacrificing? Could be anything. Hmm. All right, so the magpie lives inside anything. Now it flies and also gets you cards out of your deck. And every time I play it, I can pick another card out of my deck. Yep. Battle time. The Warren. Never doubt the, fecund the fecundity of rabbits. That means, that means how often they screw. Yes, they do it a lot. So now you have a rabbit in your hand as well. Ooh, we got some ants coming down the line, do we? Very well, very well. <laughs> um, we need to put the squirrel, or we need to put stone right here. So he kills worker ant. What did, oh. He gave you scissors. <laughs> My ant. <laughs> there, now they only do two. All right. Yes, indeed. Now they only does one. Oh, but he got mantises with the bifurcated attack. Ouch. <laughs> one. Bear. Bonk. See, I'm not killing this or this because it means that those two can't come down. Yes, that would not be ideal to have more ants on his side of the board. Get the wolf on the board, yeah. Five, Five damage. And we got it. There we go. Nice, nice. Yay, the trapper. Hey, Mr. Trapper, how we doing over here? I don't want to hear it. Cheaper prices, enjoy. <laughs> wow, he's, he's tired of dealing with me. Take one. Golden pelt. All right. Rabbit pelt. Rabbit pelt, golden pelt, yada, yada, yada. All right, all right. Yeah, me gratitude. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> yeah, he's even he's sick of dealing with me. <laughs> he's like, I can't believe you haven't figured out this game yet. <laughs> Who do you want to put in the fire, huh? Who wants additional two health? Nope, nope, nope. You know, you could put the mole in the fire. He jumps in front of opposing attack, so having a tankier mole wouldn't be a bad idea. Keep it right there. The creature could become more powerful, but the survivor's looking hungry. Mm. Yeah, we'll do it again. No, no, oh, no. they ate him. They left upon the survivors. Oh, they ate him. They, oh, they're hungry. They're all their feeding frenzy. Blah, 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 blah. Bones and sinew everywhere. <laughs> oh, God. You can keep the bones. Yay. So that's a good way to get cards out of your deck if you don't want them. Yeah. Oh, the I still have the ring. That Ooh. smoke is indeed great. Oh, you actually get to keep the ring. You're wearing the ring, huh? Hmm. Interesting. And what does the greater smoke do? What, is it better than regular smoke? Uh, it actually does damage, and it has three health. <laughs> okay, that seems pretty powerful. That seems pretty tough. All right, so this guy is... Yeah, we're going to put the bullfrog here to block the flying. Okay. And then play squirrel. Ha <laughs> ha, smart. Four points of damage. And uh, now he's going to turn all of them into... Oh, wait, no, he doesn't turn them into fish. He no. drops things to attack. Al although this is still a little dangerous. <laughs> yeah, this is not good. <laughs> uh, come on, flying card, I guess. This is looking a little dicey here. I guess we can do that. So here's, here's what I'm thinking. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm thinking I'm going to sacrifice the cards that are going to do damage. Good idea, good idea. I like it. All right. Pack rats on the board. We got a boulder from that. Okay, might come in useful later. Uh, there's not much we can do to get rid of those two cards out there. Yeah, not right damage. now. Yes. Here's the great white. Yep, there they are. All right, I have an idea. Oof, all right, lost two cards. Uh-huh. I have an idea. Okay, I'm listening. Hey, Reginald, Reginald, yay! Use the hook, grab one of his cards. Steal great white. Yeah. The great white will do four points of damage. Block that attack, okay. And turn. One, two, three, four. And then block that attack. Uh-huh. Draw a card. Smells like fish. <laughs> Gee, I wonder why. <laughs> Thank you. And end turn. And that should be it. Anglers put down a few extra teeth. Yeah. This is going a lot better than I... Honestly, I thought when I was just like, yeah, just go. First thing that comes into my stupid brain, just go with that. Mm -hmm. I thought when I would do that, that I would die immediately. A vengeful squirrel. Back from the dead, but refuses to be sacrificed again. Can you not sacrifice it? Um, that's what it says. The Badger F again. What? And another undead snake. Oh, I like all these cards. <laughs> I'm, I'm interested in the Vengeful Squirrel. All right. We got the Vengeful Squirrel. <laughs> He's a grumpy squirrel. Yes. Uh, he keeps getting sacrificed. He's not happy about He's it. Tired. He's tired of you catching him and releasing him in parks. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's actually, when you said that you when you said that you caught 15 squirrels and released them in a park, <laughs> it's just been the same squirrel every time. He keeps He's on some, coming yep, back. Yup. All right, well, back to the snow line, and now we can get new cards, maybe. Oh, maybe. Come on, anything good? Are your pelts clean? I have some. I have some pelts for you. Two hair pelts. Hmm. Is it? I don't see shoe belt. No um, shoe belt. Um, we 
got the elephant, three blood, uh, eight health. Kingfisher is not bad. Mm -hmm. For one blood. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go with Kingfisher, I think. Okay. And then the other pills. Oh, um... <laughs> Return the crab! <laughs> And a golden pelt! Ooh. Yay! I'll take the bad giraffe. Okay. Didn't even check out the leaf cutter ant over there. That's a new one. Oh. Whoops. All right, we'll check him out later, I guess. Dude, I got too many cards. You got a lot of cards. It's okay. So what does he do? You can't sacrifice him? I don't know. I want to get rid of the warren, but whatever. All well, right. Well, there is the spot right here that you can get rid of a card. All right. Who are we going to sack? Uh, the warren. Okay. That's no, no, not, the, not the vengeful squirrel. I still need to see. No, he doesn't I still want to be need sacrificed. To see what the I still need to see what the warren needs or what the vengeful squirrel does. All right, sacrifice the warren. A bone totem. Got a bone token. There you go. Thank you. All right, battle time. To the battle. Place basilisk. Basilisk. Basilisk has death touch and will kill raven egg. Mm -hmm. So the raven egg will never turn into raven. Good, good. And then we play Reginald, who also has Death Touch, so that he kills Raven Eggs, so it never turns into Raven. All right, taking out those Raven Eggs before they can become Ravens. Good. And then we play Squirrel. Oh shit! I shouldn't have done that. And oh well. Block the attack from that wolf cub. Eh, it's fine. One, two, three, and then nothing. Eh. Kingfisher on the board. Go. Kill, kill. Point of damage. Ah, but then he becomes a wolf. Four points of damage on you. Hey, look who it is. Squirrel. Welcome back, anything. Sack squirrel. Yes. Anything. <laughs> who are we gonna grab, anything? Vengeful squirrel. If we have a chance to play him, we'll see. We're gonna do a lot of damage. Bonk, bonk, bonk. No spot for the vengeful squirrel. He oh, he doesn't cost anything. He doesn't cost anything. Like a regular squirrel costs nothing. And turn. That's six points of damage, and I believe the end. Do we Give me have, them pelts, dog! Do we have any more teeth to spend on? Oh, we do. Yeah. Uh, Maybe take a wolf pelt. Instead. Yeah, we'll try a wolf pelt. And if you want, you can get <laughs> two more rabbit pelts. All right. Hopefully I run into the person that wants pelts. I don't it's this one, right? It. No, it, oh. it looks like a card going into a typewriter is what it looks like. Do yeah, I have duplicate cards? Do you? I, oh, you have the basilisk. You still? I, yeah. Oh yeah, I can do the bat. All right. So let's see if we can combine the basilisks. Let's go to the mycologist. Did you bring us two of the same? I did bring you two of the same. Yeah. You know what, buddy? Look at this. You could do rabbit pelts. I don't know why I would do that. And you can do basilisks. Here you go. Have fun. You should. Uh, you don't want to see this. No, it's fine. I do. It's a pretty powerful card. So I can infinitely place a card that does damage. Yes, you can. And has two health. <laughs> yes, you can. That's kind of stupid. Oh, yeah. So guess what we're going to do? That thing we just said. Infinite that Vengeful Squirrel. Mm -hmm. Squirrel. Kingfisher. You can't... Oh, you life. can't sacrifice him. Oh, Interesting. Sure enough, as he said... Well, very well. We'll attack for two points of damage then. I guess he did, he did say that the vengeful squirrel refuses to be sacrificed. <laughs> yup. He's tired of it. Yup, but he keeps tired on of this going whole back damn in your game. Yup. <laughs> bad giraffe. Hey, bad giraffe. Oh, I don't like how when you go to sacrifice the squirrels, they go, <laughs> like their, eye, their eyes, they wince. <laughs> yeah. That, that makes me kind of sad, actually. Well, it's just part of what's got to be done. That and is, I win. That's a lot of damage. Oh, yeah. Okay, we got a few new cards, including the Black Wolf Pup. Fledgling gets stronger after a turn. And Turns we... into a Black Wolf. Yes. And we have the Old Goat as well. I'm going to take the Black Wolf Pup. Okay, sounds good. And I don't think I have anything else for you, Mycologist. Combine oh. pelts. Oh, man. I don't want to combine pelts. Ah, uh, we're going to combine these pelts. It'll be super warm. Great. Great pelts. <laughs> what have we done? <laughs> You're the one that did it! <laughs> Maniac! Bone token squirrel. Just to that moment of reflection. <laughs> what have we done? Oh god! We're a monster! Good, good. Oh boy. Oh, you. 
Jeez. It's fine, it's fine. Is it though? Yeah, it's, this is totally fine. Okay. This is very winnable. All right. It, Trust me, I, I know. I, for someone that has played this game for a combined total of three hours, I know exactly what I'm doing. Okay, I don't doubt it. It does seem winnable to me, but... Hmm... Actually, yeah, your Kingfisher goes underground is not going to be able to stop... Uh, no, no, hit that button, you're dead. Well, I mean, not dead because you have two candles. But your Kingfisher's not going to be able to block an attack from that elk on the left side. What am I supposed to do? Uh... There's only one thing you can do. Well, I guess that's the thing you can do. Dang it, I was gonna say carve out your own eye, but I guess that that's actually a damn solution. Crap! You really want me to carve out my own eye, huh? I do, it's amusing! Well, now I'm not going to do that. <laughs> hey, it's the wolf pup, yay! Yay, wolf pup! I can't Good wait till that pup grows up to be a big, strong pup. He's gonna be so impressive. He's gonna be like, yeah, I'm a big old wolf now. I'm a big wolf. I'm so happy you gave me the opportunity to grow into the thing I wanted to be. Ah! Oh. <laughs> he did. Hey, Stinkbug, how you doing? Ah, oh, Stinky as always. Hey, I, I, need, I need you right there, Stinkbug. <laughs> right in front of this moose, are you sure it's a good idea? Yep. All right, we'll take this moose. Ah! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> that was a good plan. That was a good plan on my part. Squirrel. <laughs> All right, wolf's back out on the board. Yeah. Oh man, who's gonna win between the elephant and the moose? Hoo -hoo. Looks like wolf's back on the menu, boys. All right, you're pulling this one out of the fire. Somehow, just made him grind through his whole freaking deck. Yeah. <laughs> he's like now he's placing rabbits because he ran out of stuff. Yeah. <laughs> bonk 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 bonk. Board's clear. We win. Take that, nerd. So now we get to pick a card with blood cost. It's either one, two, or three, and one. I will let you know that the shoe build costs two blood. Eh, whatever. Shit! Well, now you got the lion cub. You know, that works. <laughs> Sacrificial altar. Yeah, boy. Yeah! This card is an absolute monstrosity now. <laughs> it's been split in half and had two things grafted onto it. <laughs> All right, let's throw him into the trapper's traps. You know the drill. Hey, it's me, I'm the trapper. Yeah, ha ha ha, I'm the trapper. I'm Should've back. come here. You shouldn't have come here. I wanna save the elephant for later, so we're just gonna put a wolf pelt down. Okay. In terms of things that can absorb enemy attacks, wolf pelt does work, but squirrel also would work and also can't die. That's true. Well, I wanted to get rid of the wolf pelt. It was in my hand, it was taking up space. Yeah, wolf pelts would have no use in this fight against the trapper. Are you being sarcastic? Well, I mean, after the first candle goes out, he becomes the traitor and trades it for pelts. Oh! <laughs> Damn it! But, you know, you still got a pelt in your hand. Do I? Oh, I have another wolf pelt. Yeah. All right, all right, all right. It's fine, it's fine. Bye, Reginald. Hello, it wolf It gives pelt. me another wolf pelt. Goodbye, greater smoke. Hello, wolf pelt. Goodbye, wolf pelt. Um, oh, we could get Lion Cub out. Yeah, we could. All right, so here's what we'll do. Yes. Squirrel. Yeah, yeah. Sack Squirrel for Lion Cub. Be careful where you put him, though. You put him before the Bullfrog. The bullfrog will kill him. Nope. I'm just going to put him right here because there's nothing here. All right, all so right. So he'll be fine. Mm -hmm. Now, keep the Wolf Pelts. And then sacrifice the Squirrel for the Snail. Sacrifice the Squirrel for Snail, but I need to decide where do I put Snail. I think we'll put Snail in front of Adder. Okay. Because then he'll just, he'll just tank the first... What would kill him? Yes. Well, I mean, still, no, gonna finish gonna him kill, up anyway. He's killed him. Yeah. And now we place squirrel mm -hmm. and turn. Quite a lot of damage. Ooh, he's coming for the basilisk. And now he's a full-grown lion. Ooh, yes, he is. Ooh, and he he increases the damage to the people next to him by one. Ooh, the basilisk is even stronger now. Ooh, and the squirrel's going to attack that trap, is he? <laughs> oh, hey, that's perfect. I am okay with that. Bonk. And then, like, nine points of damage. All right, first wave is over. And we've got quite a lot of pelts in our hand. Well, the problem is... I can't... Oh, no, they go into my hand. That's right. Let's trade. And a free pelt. And then, such powerful creatures. Choose wisely. All right, well, we will take... You can grab four. You have four wolf... Pelts. Honey Badger, I think. Honey Badger seems nice. 
Bloodhound, because he goes underwater. That's true. He dives to avoid attacks. I don't want to deal with that. Uh, Great Eagle that does death touch. <laughs> but it flies over the enemy as well. Oh. Well, those are kind of like... Yeah, they don't really work together. Not yeah. a great combination. Alright, well, that's fine then. Same thing for the Great White. He gets stronger when attacked, but because he goes underwater, he will never be attacked. So that's not a great combination of sigils there. Yeah, but I also don't want to... I don't want to deal with fighting underwater. I don't keep any of these cards that I pick, right? No, you don't. Okay. After final battle or anything. All right, well, I think we'll take the Great White just so he doesn't have it. Okay. I, don't, I don't want him having cards that go underwater. Okay, that's an understandable thing. You because it's want. really annoying to have to deal with that. I don't have anything that can counter that. Fair enough. Yeah, you don't have any otters to bring him up out of the ground. Yeah, like flying I can maybe deal with. Uh, I'm letting him keep him because he only does one damage. Right, yeah, that's not so, bad. So, freaking whatever, you can keep that shit. And then I think I'm going to take Great Eagle because he does four damage. All right, that's pretty good, yeah. Strange choices. Yeah, well, you're strange. So, right now, we're going to do quite a lot of damage with the cards already out on the field. Yep. But we could do more. I could sacrifice the squirrel to play... Oh, they're all such high blood cost. You'd have to sacrifice the basilisk or the lion, it feels like. You could sacrifice squirrel and snail to get a card with two blood out. You could so we get could get the... honey badger out there. You could, yeah. Yeah, we'll do that. I like the sound of that. We can do honey badger or bloodhound. Ooh, we'll do bloodhound. Yeah, alright. Yeah, because bloodhound does two. Sacrifice squirrel, snail. And put a... Um... Put honey badger... I think I'm gonna actually leave this guy here. Yeah, not even bother trying to attack him. Because, I mean, he's got a lot of health, but he only does one damage. Yeah, so like, pretty paltry. So like, what? I'll just keep dropping a squirrel in front of him. Sure. And the squirrel will just keep chipping away at his one damage. <laughs> yep. Or his... No, it won't. He's dead already. I mean, the basilisk did five, and then the badger oh, did an additional yeah. two. You We're win. Done. You win! I was overthinking it again. Yeah, it's all right. I do that all the time. All right, we have gotten through all of his little mini bosses who grab one more rare card. Give me a shoe, Bill. It's not a rare card. Strange, unimpressive larva. And owl cat. I remember owl cat. All right, the owl cat again. The mystery of the trapper and trader occupied your thoughts as you wandered onward. A light in the distance caught your eye. It's not really a mystery. It's you just have multiple personality disorder, <laughs> my guy. Oh, yeah, we're at the final one. So you can go to the altar on the left and imbue a creature, or go to the one on the right and turn all your pelts into something. You do have quite a few pelts. I want to turn my pelts into something. Yes, who knows? Maybe you even get a shoe if you're lucky enough. The trader's post was left unmanned. As a sign of respect for the strange woman, you only took what you thought you needed. Goodness. So now you have a few cards to choose from. Yes. Mm, woof! 14 health? So, yeah, when you come to the trapper when with a spliced pelt card, all of the cards you can pick from are a little stronger. Two versions spliced together of each card. Yikes. I I feel like I have to take that. It's a pretty powerful moose buck. And then maybe the duck? A four, six, two health, a two blood card. Yeah, that's not bad. And a wolf pelt. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. No shoe bill. No shoe bill, sadly. Well, he, why does he have death touch? <laughs> Again, sigils are all randomized, so a blackout with death touch is a bad combination. The unkillable lion cub seems pretty appealing to me. Yeah, I think you've got such a well-stocked deck. I don't think this guy's going to be able to oppose you. Probably not. Into but... the th th thick cavern. And, yeah, the fog and into the Into the fog. Unless she's thick or whatever. Into yes. the fog! You got a ring? If you do, you pass. Uh, yeah, I have a ring. Or if you got a card with a sprinter sigil, I don't think you do. Or a flyer. You got the owl cat, maybe. Uh, I have a ring. Let the trial of the ring begin. Oh, you are wearing a fine ring. You pass, of course. Choose one. Trees on all your spaces! That doesn't sound good. The magpie's eye. When you draw from your deck, you may choose any card in your deck to draw. Oh. Or you start the battle with eight bones. Uh, that one. Magpie's eye. Alrighty then. I feel like this is... I don't know. I feel like this might be pretty OP at your, this point. Your deck is pretty powerful. No doubt about that. You got both of my boons. I'm impressed. A rare feat. You're truly a worthy adversary. But soon I must put you to the death. <laughs> Hi, you're still gross. I have a nice pink bow now, though. No, he doesn't. I, what if I just photoshopped it in there? Oh, okay. <laughs> well, looks like I'll have to beat him again. 
Oh, how I relish this moment. Let's see how fast you get. Oh, you you didn't bring the hook to this battle. Things might be a, a little more difficult. Hey, mm. it's the vengeful. Hello, squirrel. vengeful squirrel. All right, let's see. Mole man, amalgam. <sighs> okay, what am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? Uh, I guess we'll play Greater Smoke, mm -hmm. and I guess we'll end turn. Works for me. <laughs> Oh shit. Oh fuck. It's me, I'm not prospector. Which card are we gonna draw? Ooh, I can draw all kinds of cards. Alright, yeah, let's see. Um anything. Ah yes, anything. And you have the ambidextrous, so you get two cards at the beginning of every turn, man. It's so powerful. We'll take a squirrel. Alright, sounds good. Alright, so here's what I'm gonna do. Yes. I think I'm gonna sacrifice the young lion. Okay. To get he is, something out. He is unkillable, yep. Um because then I'll go back to my card. Otherwise, he's just gonna turn him into gold. That's true, he will do that. So, to save the young lion, I will kill it. Okay. I, uh, we're gonna have to lose anything. Okay. Sacrifice the young lion. Put anything on the board. Pick a card and put it in your hand. Now I'll take the basilisk. All right. I think I'm just gonna go with this because he's about to turn everything into gold anyway. Okay. Kill that bull man, do a point of damage. Gold! And it oh. goes back in your hand. Okay. For some reason, I thought that the line wouldn't go back in my hand. Yes. Well, now they're all back in your hand. Except for Greater Smoke. Except for the Greater Smoke. Who is now Bones. Yes. A Mantis God. Attacks all of your gold. There you go. Draw a card. Got all quite right. a full hand right now. Yup. And turn. Ooh, this is going to look a little, a little more difficult here. He's going to try and hook that. Yeah, but I don't know. Damage that. Point of damage. Oof. 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 That's a lot of damage. There wasn't really much I could do about that. That's it true. Was, it was all gold. Like, what am, What could I do? There wasn't a whole lot you could do. I thought he was saying bullshit when I put him out there, because I saw <laughs> bull and then S. <laughs> yeah. So I thought I said bullshit. Uh, that's fun. So he's got a lot of powerful amalgam cards going yeah. your way. Yeah, he does. So I think what we're going to do first is I'm just going to get a bunch of squirrels out there to get the moose buck. All right, that's, so we'll not a, squirrel. that's not a bad plan. I like it. <laughs> Powerful moose buck with 14 health. Yeah, let's get him on the field. Oh, uh, actually, we probably could get Basilisk out too. I bet yeah, you Yeah, we'll do that. We'll do that. Okay, so and we'll put it on this one that has like the trifurcated attack. Yeah, get rid of that thing. And then finally, put the vengeful squirrel out. All right, have fun with that. Oh, shit, I shouldn't have done that. Why not? Because he's going to take it. I should have just put a squirrel. All right, well, we'll see. Not what you can do about it now. Nope, it's too late now. Yeah, he has indeed taken the Vengeful Squirrel. But it only does one point of damage to you. So it's, you the, it's the squirrel attacking me as, yeah. as vengeance for, uh, <laughs> yeah. for constantly sacrificing him. Mm -hmm. All right, we'll take Owlcat, I guess. Okay, we got Owlcat. And then take a squirrel. So many damn squirrels. All right. And I guess draw a card. We'll take Lion Cub, because who cares? Six, four. Oh, it goes back in your hand when you killed him. Nice. One candle down. The moon-soaked forest bed gave rise to shadowy figures, gasping for night air after their long and torturous slumber. Ah, uh, yes, Kaminsky and Lewis. I remember them. Kingfisher. We're getting through our own deck pretty fast. Yeah. Bang, 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 <laughs> just murdering all of his cards. Yeah, it's a lot of damage. Oh, hello, Mr. Trapper, Tra Trader. Squirrel. 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 Squirrel, all right. I wish I could organize the cards in my deck. Ah, oh, that'd be nice. Or in my hand. Yeah, get all the squirrels on one side. It's a lot of cards in your hand. All right, I think we're, I think I'm just gonna let this one ride through. Sounds good, he's, he's, you're doing a lot of damage. 13 points of damage, I believe. Yep, there you go. Second candle down. This ought to work again. A click. Yes. Oh, yes, it works just fine. Squirrel. The moon has 40 Squirrel. points of health. There's no way you can defeat it. It is so overpowered. What do I, what do I have that does, like, bonkers damage? That does... Four damage. Oh, 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 I just had an idea. Oh. 
You know, Squirrel, I know we've had our disagreements. I know that I do keep sacrificing you and your brethren. Mm -hmm. I don't want to do it. This guy is the one making you do it. Yeah. Okay. Get out there and show him who's boss. <laughs> All right, yep. Let's take him down. You and me, Squirrel. Oh, right, the Basilisk has insta-kill on him. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Uh, go on, finish it. What, what do you need to just sit here, not do anything? I, what if I just put out cards that can't kill him? <laughs> you could. Hey, here's an idea. Seeing as how he's so close to death anyway, his um, the scale is so tipped in your favor. Mm -hmm. Instead of attacking him and killing him with your cards, what if you just use the knife? Oh, for God's sake, fine. <laughs> yeah! Knife, 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 knife! You beat him without actually attack- There you go, boom! <laughs> Yay! Yay! <laughs> I hope your death card has one eye, that'd be pretty funny. <laughs> you had won the respect of the strange cabin's inhabitant. Your body quaked as the adrenaline of the battle subsided. Leaving you with a gnawing hunger, you had not eaten for days. But don't worry. Is it not so? Woo! Food! Woo! Dinner's ready! Surely this food will please you. I took extra care in preparing it. It literally looks like shit. This does not meet your standards? Very well. <laughs> Can you hand me my camera? Would you be no. so kind? No! How do no! Yes, you have no choice. You must give me that camera. Oh, for God's sake. Oh, no, don't take my picture! Just kidding. <laughs> it does not function without a loaded film roll. <laughs> so I have to find the film. Yes, you're a champion. Let's commemorate you. Please, inscribe uh, your name. I can't really... Oh, Poop, that's your name? Your parents must have hated you. <laughs> yeah, they did. You won. Congratulations. All right, congratulations, Zach. You beat him twice! Yay! Uh, I feel like I'm not getting anywhere. Oh, this dream again, eh? Is it the same dream as last time? Something about the knife. The knife, the knife. Yeah. Thank you, shrub, I guess. Another challenger approaches! Oh, your predecessor defeat, defied the odds and beat me, but it's not gonna happen again. Here's your deck. <laughs> oh, round and round, forever we go. Man, so many victims. 